Okay, it's antenna time. Uh, we're going to be testing three antennas today. Uh, the first antenna is going to be uh, the rubber duck that came with my Yesu FT3, what are they called? FT3R? FT3, anyway, you know, you know the one. <laughs> um, uh, so we'll, we'll test that one. I haven't tested that one yet. And we're going to test uh, this one, uh, very long. It is a Redivis, a Redivis antenna. I got it off of the internet somewhere, I don't remember. So it claims, where's the package? So here's, here's the package. It comes in a, a, a long package. I'll just, I'll just read it to you. Uh, it is an RHD771, uh, and it claims to have a gain of two uh, over intrinsic, um, and maximum power 20 watts. And then it says it has a SWR, let's see, it's under the label here. I need to peel the label back. SWR less than 1.5. Okay, so we'll test that, see if it's SWR 1.5. It claims to be a 144 slash 430 megahertz. So not 440 megahertz, it says 430 megahertz. So remember that one. And then the third one we're gonna test is this one. <laughs> Can you see that one? Uh, I forgot that I had this. I, I was cleaning up a drawer and I remember, uh, I said, oh, look at that thing. Uh, it is the world's shortest antenna. So let's measure it. Um, where's my measuring devices? Huh. I don't see it. All right, so we'll use one of these. So this is all copper at the bottom. So the actual emitting length is one and a half centimeters. <laughs> so one and a half centimeters. That's uh yeah. Yeah, and then the whole thing is two and a half centimeters. So it it's it's called an AS25. Now they don't make these anymore. And it also claims 144 slash 430. Um, and this one is made by a company called M A L D O L Madol. Maldol? Maldol. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we'll be testing that one too. All right. And so we're going to be using the uh, vector network analyzer. And uh, I'm going to be uh, putting all the antennas onto uh, uh, a vise here holding, holding, the, uh, holding the antenna and the, the uh, this big power supply will act as a ground plane. And so that's the way we're going to, that's the way we're going to test it. And we'll come back down here. And you can see that we have a, a dip here. So this is, this is a sweep between 100 and 500. And before people say, oh, you need to calibrate each section because blah, 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 blah. This particular device I have it calibrated for 1,600 points. So from 100 to 100 to 500, it's 1,600 data points. So yeah, don't tell me to calibrate this thing. It, it, it already is. Um, okay, so let's use the marker. And it has a dip here around 440.44, And uh, 147, it's way back up again. So it's got a pretty, it's got a pretty narrow little, little dip there, but it's, Definitely a two meter dip. Uh, this is the Yeso antenna. And then over here at uh, 440, uh, it's got a nice, really, really broad dip, okay? And so we have about uh, 10 dB here and 10 dB here of return loss. And uh, if we change the format to SWR, and we'll do auto scale here, no, auto scale's not right. <laughs> uh, reference level one, uh, scale per division half. Uh, so let's do scale per division of 0.2. Yeah, okay, so it's dipping at about uh, SWR of 1.8 here at two meters and an SWR of two uh, at the higher end. So that's what that one does. Okay, so this is the Redivus antenna. 
and it's got uh, some deeper dips now. It's a much longer antenna, so it should be should be doing better. Let's do the marker here. Let's go over here, and we're dipping down here at 140. 145 is there. 140 is there. So, and the it, the 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 deep dip is happening at 152. Um, they are a bit sensitive to what they're next to and stuff. These will move around, uh, but uh, it's dipping there somewhere around the two meter band. And then the big, big dip over here is happening at 200 and uh, 430. So 430 is right there. So it is an antenna tuned to 430, not 440. So if you end up buying one of these, just be aware of that. 440 is here, it's still usable. It's still around two to, two to one. So, you know, it's about the same as, uh, it's about the same as, four, as uh, two meters. So yeah, they're about two to one, something like that. So there you go, that's that antenna. Now it's nice and long, so it, it probably has a little bit more gain and probably has a little bit better receive and stuff. So it's probably a better antenna. It just doesn't look great um, on an SWR plot. That was this uh, really long one. I didn't measure how long that was. Let's see. This antenna is uh, 36 centimeters, 36, 10. Yeah, it's about 14 inches long. Okay. So yeah, pretty long. It, it seems like it's built really, really well too. I really like this antenna. It's actually quite it's actually quite nice. All right, so let's test this uh, stupid little tiny guy. He looks like he just has a 50 ohm resistor soldered onto the end. About the same size as a half watt uh, or one watt uh, 50 ohm resistor. So, well, there you go. Wait, oh. oh, I took my hand off of it and it went away. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there was a dip and then I took my hand off of it. So let's go here to log mag. Oh, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> so we are getting a dip, but it's teeny, teeny, tiny. It's about four dB of dip and obviously nothing there at 440. So this is just a two meter antenna. And that tiny, 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 tiny little dip there is right at, right at the two meter band. So let's, uh, let's auto scale this. There we go. So we do have a dip here. Oh, I don't want, I want to do auto scale marker. There we go. So the dip is happening right at 147. And we're getting all of 4 dB of, uh, of uh, return loss. So, and then obviously it's got a dip over here, but in a weird place. It's just an artifact of this one. It's at 330 megahertz. So it's just a multiple of the, of the other one. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the antenna actually does something. It does try to resonate at, at, a, at 146 megahertz. But yeah, it's not very good <laughs> of course you wouldn't expect it uh with a one and a half centimeter antenna anyway there you go antennas for the day they're fun again we had the uh the uh, sa on oh, the as the as-25 and then we had the uh redivis what was that it's not it's not marked on the antenna uh, it is a RHD771. Uh, pretty nice. I can recommend this one. And then the uh, the one that comes with the Yesu uh, the Yesu HT does not have a part number on it. So I don't think you can reorder these. I think these are just standard issue with the with the HT.